You know, this looks like a stellar starting pitching matchup on paper with Corbin Burns going for Baltimore and Walker Bueller going for the L.A. Dodgers. Um, but if you look inside the numbers, especially recently, that's not the case. Corbin Burns, who was terrific to start the year, all of a sudden has hit a bump in the road of late. And matter of fact, he's hit a brick wall of late over his last four starts, an 871 ERA and a 174 whip. Uh, the Baltimore bullpen, by the way, oh, since August the 1st, they've been shaky with a 497 ERA as a staff. Uh, they're number 28 in Major League Baseball during that time period and home runs allowed per nine innings pitch. So the combination of a shaky bullpen and a pitcher in bad form right now in Corbin Burns uh, lends itself to L.A. Dodgers, who are a powerful offensive team. Uh, putting up some uh, good run contribution tonight. Walker Bueller, by the way, you know, this guy has not been the same since he first came up, and uh, a lot of it is injury-related. And, you know, Teddy's made two starts since returning from the IL. Not very good. A 736 ERA, a 246 whip in those two starts, and he only lasted a combined seven and a third innings pitch. Furthermore, over his last five overall, an 838 ERA and a 212 whip. So uh, even before he went on the IL and now after he's coming off the IL, he's been terrible. There's no other way to put it. Uh, the Dodgers, 32 home runs in their last 23 games and averaging over five runs per game. Uh, in fact, Baltimore, number two in L.A. Dodgers, number three in home runs hit this year. Uh, Baltimore's also number three in the L.A. Dodgers, number four in runs scored this year. And Baltimore's slugging percentage, number one in baseball, while the L.A. Dodgers are number four. So you got two struggling pitchers, uh, starting pitchers, a bullpen in, from Baltimore that's struggling a bit, and uh, a number of a reasonable number of eight and a half. Actually, if you looked at eight and a half, Teddy, with Corbin Burns pitching, um, you, you'd be hard pressed to find a lot of games in which uh, he's, he didn't have a total of eight or seven and a half. So I'm going to go over the total of eight and a half here, Baltimore and the LA Dodgers. So I'm certainly not going to make a case for the under in this ball game. And you know, your analysis makes perfect sense to me, Ross. My question is why are we talking full game as opposed to first half? To me, you know, they're both starting pitchers. We want to fade first half total four and a half full game, eight and a half. I understand Baltimore's bullpen has been dicey, but in my mind, your analysis made a pretty good case for first half over as opposed to full game over. Talk about how you would, uh, how you made the choice to go full game, and if you would potentially split your wager. If both teams' bullpen was on fire right now, I certainly would entertain that thought, Teddy. And it's a great question, and it's something that people need to think about. Uh, if you got two struggling bullpens or two very good bullpens with two struggling starting pitchers, obviously that would be something you should uh, very much consider. But in this case, with the Baltimore bullpen uh, struggling the way they are um, and, and the home run prowess of both teams, uh, I'm going to choose to go the latter, which is over eight and a half. Uh, because, again, you're not, it's not like you're getting a number in the first five that's 50% or less of what the game total is. So that, that's my reasoning in that regard, Teddy. But certainly a great point the viewers uh, should really uh, take notice of when evaluating – uh, a game such as this. You know, college football starting full tilt on Saturday. I didn't use anything last Saturday, but I certainly am. I got four picks up for sale right now, and uh, all of them are three-unit plays or 3% plays. I will have a 5% play as well. But college football last year, I finished on runs of 10 and 3 and 62 and 42. It was number two overall at Wager Talk in college football in terms of money earned. So, uh, take advantage, folks. Go to my personal link. It's uh, wt.buzz slash rb. You can get my college football annual package right now for $529. Uh, that's not a lot of money. It's a little bit of money to make a lot of money because uh, last year made yeah. over $4,000 in uh, college football based on our grading system, Press.